Make sure you stay until the end, we will explain how people usually destroy their engines in two different ways when replacing ignition coils. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a car with gasoline engine guys or in England you call it a petrol engine if you have one of those and you want to know where is the ignition coils where are the ignition coils located how to know which one is ignition coil number one two three four five six and so forth or seven and eight for v8 engines stay with us we'll explain that in this video today and we'll explain two common mistakes people make about ignition coils that can actually destroy your engine all that will be covered in this video today before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money so let's start on it now so with that being said we will be demonstrating on a v6 engine because things will be okay things will be covered on a uh, for a three four six cylinder and even eight cylinder engines in that way where are the ignition coils guys? Ignition coils on the car usually will be located on modern vehicles on top of the valve covers. On top of the cylinder head you have usually a valve cover. You, most of the times it's plastic or aluminum but most newer cars it's plastic, it's cheaper okay, to make obviously. It's lighter as well, that's advantage. And on top of it, uh, where the cylinder is, guys, right here, that's ignition coil. Right underneath that ignition coil is where the spark plug is located. So uh, the ignition coil is connected with a wiring harness to the engine computer, and the engine computer will send signal uh, when uh, the ignition coil is ready to actually send okay, electricity to the spark plug. So coils are super dangerous, they produce high voltage, so they can kill you okay if you hold them or something like that and the car is uh, uh, being turned or the engine is being turned so always disconnect the car battery when working on them and on these modern cars it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect if you do it the wrong way you can destroy your uh, your computer systems in the car and that can be expensive to fix so now uh, ignition goes on top of the valve covers usually but if you know if you want to know where is ignition cone number one two three and four five and six let's say or seven eight so if you look at your engine guys uh usually where the timing chain or timing belt is starting from this side if you just have three or four cylinder engines for most of you three cylinder engines over in europe guys that struggle with them i'm sorry but uh, yeah they're a little bit uh, not so powerful but if you count from the, uh, or if you just a three cylinder engine from the timing belt or timing chain, you usually have cylinder number one, two, and three. If you have a four cylinder, the next one will be four. If you have a V6 engine, things can be completely different. They can be in two different ways. For instance, Porsche uses, guys, the numbering. Okay, it goes like that ignition curve one, two, three, then four, five, six. However, Dodge uses guys something completely different. It goes like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that makes it guys more complicated. So you will need to know guys, okay, the cylinder order for your specific vehicle. Otherwise you will not know which ignition curve is which. On two, three and four cylinder engines, okay, it's easy. On V6, V8, you need to know that specifically. Uh, if you want to see how to replace ignition coil, we will have the video on the channel. But two ways people usually destroy their car is by driving with a bad ignition coil. And we have a special video that explains can I drive with bad ignition coil. Number two, on V6, V8 engines, you need to remove the upper intake manifold. And when you do that, you can drop a tool, bolt, nut in the in a lower intake manifold. It will go to the valves. It will be sucked in the engine. It can bend valve, destroy piston, cylinder head, engine block even catalytic converter later if it goes out and you can guys cause so much damage so be careful okay working on those v6 v8 engines hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time